Day is Zana. Welcome back to Consciously Create. And if you're new here, hi, I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film four series here on my YouTube. And this one is all about business and branding and marketing and so, so much more. So this topic was requested on my Instagram and she asked me to talk about being a musician or an artist and navigating the music industry, especially as a woman. And I feel like this is something I could probably talk about forever because it's, I mean, I feel like any industry, obviously there's like a divide and a difference between men and women, but we're not gonna get into that because that's a whole other topic. But for the music industry, I personally, I'm not a fan of the entertainment industry in general. Like, if you watch some of my um, solo trip podcasts, I've talked about mind control, manipulation, and all kinds of things to do with Hollywood and just the fucked up shit that happens in it. So, and there's also tons of people that delve even deeper into that than I do on YouTube and everywhere online. So, I'm gonna give my tips of things that I have realised because there's been a few things that I've come to learn as I navigate my own journey as an artist in the music industry. And the first thing is that you need to know who the fuck you are. Like, and I feel like that's relevant to any kind of industry and anything that you wanna do. But when you're moving through this kind of industry where people take advantage, people use each other, I feel like this relates to even the beauty industry as well come to think about it <laughs> but it literally relates to everything because people like you're being public online as well as it being an industry filled with money filled with ego filled with needing to put yourself out there publicly and have people that support you like fans you know so there's a lot of ego involved and people like to use each other they like to take advantage of each other you can look at record labels and things like that and how they take advantage of artists that don't have money and that don't have the resources to understand the contracts. Um, you can see this in people collaborating and the beef that they start with each other, whether it's fake or not. Even if it's fake, that's a whole other thing where it's just a lot of ego and a lot of backstabbing and a lot of manipulations. I feel like the main thing is you need to know who you are. You need to know what you stand for, your morals and your values and just everything about yourself. And of course, this is not something that you can just flick a switch and know in an instant. It's something that you develop over time. But just um, choosing to self-reflect often and choosing to look at what it is that you want what it is that you want out of your career path and why you're pursuing it. Like, why are you pursuing music? Is it because you want people to adore you and value you and like validate you? Or is it because you love creating music? You know, like really getting clear on why you're doing it and what it is that you want out of it, your goals, your ambitions, your dreams, those kind of things. And just having a full sense of self when it comes to your career and what you want because people do take the piss and they do try to take advantage. And I experienced this a lot more when I was younger because I didn't know what I was doing and I was in girl groups and things and we didn't know how to handle the business side of things because it's brand new to us, you know? We're like early 20s age, really like fresh face and not knowing anything. So people see that and then they take advantage of that and they wanna sign you into all kinds of contracts and stuff and rip you off essentially or control you and dictate what you do and stuff. So I feel like it's just important to know what you want because then you know which direction you want to go in and which kinds of people you're willing to collaborate with and talk to and entertain, you know? So like, for example, if you know that you want full creative control of your music, if you know that you want to own your masters and you know that you need a team that see your vision, then when you come across industry people, including labels and stuff, and you listen to what it is that they say and what they have to offer and what they're offering you potentially, then you'll know whether that's in alignment with you and what you want. So if they want to take full creative control or if they want to own your masters, then you know that it's not the right move for you because it goes against what you've already decided is right for you. And of course, what's right for you may change, but just having that awareness will really enable you to discern what opportunities are good for you 
and what ones are things that you need to say no to because we don't need to say yes to everything not everything is good for us so just knowing who you are knowing what you want and what you want your career to look like I think is very very important and then also being open to collaborate and open to connecting with people because it is about um like collaborating with other artists it doesn't just have to be labels and seeking that that kind of thing or management or anything it can just be simply collaborating with other artists collaborating with videographers and shooting music videos and photo shoots and those kind of things you know and just making friends and being polite and being professional with it because reputation is everything word of mouth is everything and if you're unprofessional or you're rude to people it will come back to bite you so I think and I feel like that's just something that should be happening in general anyway no matter what industry you're in or anything in life like just putting out what you want to receive being a good person it should just be a normal thing anyway but it's definitely something that's important when your career is so public and it's something that involves a lot of other people and people seeing you and witnessing you and possibly working with you another point is that nobody owes you anything so even if you tell people constantly that you make music and stuff like Nobody is obligated to work with you, to support you, to listen to you, to stream your music, to buy your song, like to come to your shows. Nobody is obligated to do any of that. And we shouldn't feel entitled to people's time for that. Do you know what I mean? Like you have to earn it by being a good person for one thing, by putting your talent out there continuously and consistently and by building your brand. And then obviously marketing and stuff like that comes into it as well. But the number one thing is um, being talented and being good at what you do and having a good product and a good quality product and then being able to communicate that and express that to your audience. But especially at the start, it takes time to build that and it's not something that just happens instantly overnight for the majority of people. So having that patience and not not being entitled to people's time is really important because sometimes people are just busy and it's not that they don't want to work with you, it's that they're just busy. So they haven't, like maybe um, collaborating isn't a priority for them right now or maybe they just don't want to work with you right now because you're not at the visibility level as they are so trying to like hit up Chris Brown when you have like a thousand followers you're not necessarily going to get him to collaborate with you because what does he gain out of that he doesn't gain any fans or anything because he's already got them he's got more than you so I don't know I think just being realistic and not taking everything personally because you're going to face rejection you're going to face um even like losing fans and gaining fans because people choose to follow and unfollow all the time and stuff just not taking everything personally is such a key key thing and really working on your self-esteem which may take time it may take years you know they used to um, do artist development for years before an artist would even launch and become public and visible like that doesn't exist anymore so you're kind of developing yourself as you go while being public at the same time even if you're only public to a few people like I don't have that many supporters you know what I mean but it's still public enough to feel terrifying so you're developing yourself as you go and being okay to being okay with yourself messing up making mistakes needing to adjust and change direction you know like trying things and being okay with the fact that you may not like it and that you want to try something else instead like just having that um, freedom within yourself to try things out to try song styles out to try content ideas out to try social media platforms out like just allowing yourself to try things and seeing what you like and what you don't like and then going towards the things that you do like and maybe that will change in the future and then allowing yourself to change you know this is your career at the end of the day this is something that you want to do long term so being clear on what you want how you want it to look and being a good person, being able to collaborate and message other people humbly, you know, not having that entitlement there and then having that sense of self and that self-esteem and not taking everything personally so that you can really know who you are and be able to share that with the world and literally have like a force field up that blocks their opinions from penetrating your energy field so that you don't absorb 
their words. Because at the end of the day, this whole reality is just opinion. So absorbing every single person's words when you're trying to build something public is just going to destroy you. It's just going to make you crumble and not want to leave your bed. Like it leads to so many problems as we see with celebrities and influencers and stuff. We see the spiral that it can head down. So I really think if you are going this route and wanting to do it, it's incredible and it's so rewarding because just being able to put your own music out there is so incredible no matter how many people you have supporting you. But you need to have a sense of self and work on your self-esteem so that you're able to know who you are and stay grounded in who you are no matter what life throws at you. So yes, I hope this was helpful and also I want to add at the end because she did ask about when you're a woman, um, I feel like people do try and take advantage because you're a woman and maybe I could make a full video on the divine feminine because it's an issue just in life in general. So I think like that's just going to go down a full rabbit hole. So maybe I will film a full video on that because it's something that people mistake for weakness. So yeah, I am going to film a video on that because I feel like people mistake being feminine and being gentle as a weakness, but it's actually our greatest strength. So remember that. Remember that you can be a woman and you can... Um, offer your talents to the world and stuff like this but that doesn't mean that you let people walk all over you so I'm going to film a video on that separately <laughs> but I hope this video was helpful thank you so so much for watching I really appreciate you definitely check out the description box below for my phone number because I do send daily inspirational spiritual thoughts and videos every day as well as my social media my music my jewelry brand um crystal jewelry brand and one-to-one -one sessions if you would like to work with me and everything else about me is in the description box below and oh my hand just clicked that was so gross anyway i will see you in the next video bye I'm the thing you like, pick my range away oh,